Well, this morning, severe weather tore through our area. A tornado was spotted near Holt in Florida, and there was extensive damage to a mobile home park in Atmore. Some residents woke up to find their homes ripped from their foundations entirely. Now, most of the park is a total disaster, and people are still in shock. We have more team coverage tonight. NBC 15's James Gordon and Laura Barcheski are in Atmore, and Chief Meteorologist Alan Seals will give us a bird's eye view of the damage there. Let's start with NBC 15's James Gordon. James. You know, all you have to do is walk around and look around and you can see the devastation here. It's incredible and it's widespread. Now, at last count, six people were injured today. Five were taken to the hospital and two are now in critical condition. Surrounded by dark skies, all of us run high alert this morning. The tornado watch also remains in effect until 2 p.m. Central. It was on the news, so... I mean, I laid in the bed about, because I got up early you know, for my coffee and whatnot, and, and I'm looking at it, and I was like, tornado, what are they talking about here? The warning was not enough. Within seconds, everything here was literally turned upside down. Bianca Peoples could only think of her family. And when I heard it, and that wind got to shaking the trailer back and forth, just got to shaking, and I hit the flow. And when I hit the ground, I heard my baby hollering out. She's saying, Mama, Mama, and I feel like I couldn't get to her fast enough. When I got down there, I grabbed my baby, and when, by the time I grabbed, it came through the window, shook a whole, flipped the whole bed over, glass came through the window. Straight over there, that trailer with the white cords, they used to live there, and Tori used to live there. Help is on the way, and the cleanup has already started. Most who live here rent their mobile homes. Many won't be coming back. Kind of sad, man, because some of them were just barely making it. And now they have to start over from scratch and like, you know, where do they start from now? You just hate it for the people uh, because everything they've got is gone. The National Weather Service is scheduled to be here tomorrow to assess the damage and determine if this was indeed the work of a tornado. For now we're live in Atmore, James Gordon, NBC 15 News. James, real quick, did the people talk about how much a warning time they had in between uh, before the tornado hit and the time they knew it was coming? Well, some that we talked to said they, they were not aware of it because they were sleeping, perhaps not paying attention to some of the alerts. Uh, maybe their phones weren't on, their apps weren't on. But like you heard in the story, there was uh, there were a couple of people that said they they watched it on television. Uh, they, they did hear it. So, yes, some did get warning. Others I guess we're sleeping through it, so that, that sometimes happens.